Welcome to Business Purpose and Clarity with Petri. I'm your host. We talk about startup life, insights, practical tips, mistakes, failures, and everything between. Quantity is the quality. That's something I heard not too long ago. It sounds a bit contradictionary. Because... If you do in just a lot of quantity, your quality may go down. But we are now in a digital age where there's so much content already. There's so much of everything. Because it doesn't really take that much to produce more. Everybody can do that. More doesn't mean better. It just means that there's more of it. But there's some truth in that the quantity is the quality. If you start to take into account that you're also learning in the process, you're becoming better while doing things. This is evident in YouTube. Streamers, influencers, those who are successful in that platform and they've been there already for years somebody did a some kind of research where they went through and checked how many videos those who are really successful have done on average i don't remember the exact numbers but it was over a thousand Hundreds at least, but I would say it probably was even in thousands. Just think about it before you start. That you have to make maybe thousand videos before you become someone. And YouTube has been around over 10 years now. So it's not getting any easier. In a sense that not everybody becomes a success. It may not mean that you're not good or your quality is not good, but there's just so much of choice, so much things and so little time. And YouTube, if we're talking about YouTube as an example of a platform, is not really your friend if you're the content producer. Or Google, if we're talking about the regular web pages, search engines, and other means of ways to get new information, get discovered, or to be found. Most of these platforms are working for themselves. They want to keep the customers happy. They want to keep the users engaged. They don't want to send them away. They don't want to serve them bad content. They want to not make too much risks. Because if if your model is advertising, you want to serve those ads and provide good content. So why should you take risks? Why should you serve something which is not proven yet? when it's more easier to show Mr. Beast or some of the other big stars who know how to do stuff with sticks. I'm not saying this to discourage you. I'm not saying that it's not possible to make it, to get your content out there. I'm just reminding you that if you just think that you can do a few content pieces, And everybody should be in awe and find your content so engaging and you should get a lot of attention and get your KPIs working for you. I'm not sure that that's the best of ideas. I'm not sure that you can reach your targets. I think the quantity is the quality in content. Pushing out Instagram posts, Twitter tweets, 
blog posts, LinkedIn posts, podcast episodes, YouTube videos, shorts, TikToks, whatever it is, what do you do? I think it's more important that you keep on doing those. Get better, change over time, find your style, keep on producing, keep on doing things. Because more of the stuff there is, more of your content is available, the more discoverable you are. And because it's available, that's the depository you have. That's the archive of knowledge, of material you have. Then you finally make it. Then you become recognized. Then you become someone. Why does that happen then? It was not an overnight success. Maybe partly. The reason is that you did the quantity is the quality approach. And you became really good. And you did a lot of content continuously. So you became familiar. You became someone who is around whose content somebody likes to consume and is expecting. So you become your own success by keep on doing things.